Welcome to part two of building Chodricks. And this particular one literally is uh, an old fashioned chod. For that, I'm again going to be selecting about 25 centimeters of line. I rather like to use a little bit more than, than, I, than I need, because it just makes it easier for me to show you how to tie this particular rig. Now, for this purpose, I'm going to first tie the line to the swivel. And for that, I'm going to just use a three turn blood knot. So it's one, two, and three times, and then back through the opening. Oops, come on. There we go, just like that. That's literally how the knot sits at this point in time. Wet it with a bit of saliva, and I just work this knot down. Like that. And then I take my puller tool. And I set the knot. <clears throat> There we go. There's my knot. Now I just trim off the tag end. And because I use a stiff bristle filament, I can take my lighter and just, just touch the end. Like that. Now I know that knot's going nowhere. This is part one. Now I take my 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 medium rig ring and my hook so again i turn the hook on its belly and i put the line through the back now comes something that you need to basically work with decide on the length of your chod now, doing it this way, you actually can manipulate and make sure that the, the length or the end length of your chod remains consistent every single time. So, if I were to take my measuring tool and let's say we want to measure it at exactly 2 centimeters. So, this is not going to be the end of it, but if I start at 2 centimeters... Now I take the line and the hook and I trap it on the bend. All I now need to do is take this loose line and wind it around going once, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight times. Now I trap the line on the front. You see there's a loop, I push the line through the loop like that. I wet it with a bit of saliva. And now I can pull down on this knot this from this way. For that, I'm going to use my puller tool in this hand. Pull it tool through the ring. And I'm going to just manipulate this not all the way down to there make sure that the line exit the back of the hook there's my knot now I can cut a piece of this tag end off because I don't need all of that take my rig ring and slide the rig ring onto the line now i can bend that part back take the tag end and pop the tag in through the back of the hook like there and now i can cut a piece off like there take my lighter and dab it 
push it back. I've got a perfect little D. And now it's just a matter of manipulating the line. And this is the beauty with the mouth trap. Because just by pulling it through your fingers a couple of times, you have achieved the perfect charge. The next part of this rig is to obviously add the piece of putty. So I take my dark matter putty and I literally just mold it around the, the chot swivel. The chot swivel has got a nice little cavity that you can really be a little bit artistic when it comes to the adding the putty to the swivel. So there's my piece of putty. And all I now need to do is just mold it properly. Now I can take my bait and for this one I will select the mainline 15 millimeter milky toffee. Oh, I just love this smell. So I again take a piece of floss. And I take, put the floss through the rig ring, like that. I fold the two ends back so I can trap them. Oh, where's my baiting needle now? Now I can add my bait and slide it back on. And I basically just touch the rig ring with the bait, so you can see it there. And I can just cut a piece of this floss, because I don't need all of that. Then I take my lighter, and I dab it. And there we have it. Another Jody.